So yeah, uh, we went to Twitter and we let our friends choose for us. Granted, it was a pretty quick poll, but uh, we got we got some results anyway. We had Spiders versus Syndicate, which was horribly worded, but it got nine point one percent of the vote. Heroes versus Villains, which got eighteen point two percent of the vote. Guys versus Gals, which got twenty seven point three percent of the vote, and Cosmic versus Street Level got 45.5% of the vote. So we are going to be conducting a on-air battle tonight where it is cosmic level characters versus street level characters. And of course, I'm street level starch and I'm not messing around here. I'm taking the street level guys and I am going to go up against these cosmic level cronies and see how I do. In all fairness, what should happen is I should get stomped. (laughs) <laughs> I mean, it is cosmic level versus street level, but you never know what's going to happen in Marvel Snap. So you um, never know what's in the cards. No, you do not. Yeah, I designed a street level deck. Evan designed himself a cosmic level deck, and we are going to battle here shortly to see who can come out on top. And I will tell you that I at least devoted 20 minutes tonight on my walk to try and come up with a deck so that I can try and hold my own. I didn't do a very good job with the cosmetics. I did use the galaxy background, and then I went ahead and picked Groot, but right next to Groot I have as my uh, slogan or whatever it is, Lumberjack Extraordinaire, which just seems like self-harm for Groot. (laughs) It's like if I had Spider-Ham on there and it said, like, I love bacon. Just, you know. All right. Battle is beginning. Round Round one. one. All right. Well, that's appropriate. First, First location, New York. All right, uh, a little home field advantage for you. Okay. I like it. I like it. And I played Rocket Raccoon on the unrevealed middle location. All right, then. Which is Westview. Okay. Now, I don't know if you said that before we got it, which makes me think Uatu's in your deck or in your hand. No, but, no, uh, it, it, it just popped up. Maybe my uh, maybe my phone's just a little faster than yours. <laughs> I think you're full of it. <laughs> hey, I, I my, my tech's got to be better. We have to communicate from deep space, you know? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you want to... Okay, there we go. I got Korg on the unrevealed third location, and you took out Rocket Raccoon with Elektra. All right. Never happened in the comics. <laughs> Why don't you tell everybody what the third location is so you don't, uh, yeah, you don't make vib- wild accusations? Vibranium Mines, after you play here, shuffle three Vibranium into your deck, and I am not a fan of adding things to my deck because Korg is already doing that. Korg has already added a rock... Oh, yeah, I didn't say what I played. I was just too busy snarking about the location. What so we got Korg on the Vibranium Mines, Electra at Westview, nobody in New York. All right, here we go. Going into tur- at the end of turn three. Oh, Angela's out there. I was going to say Iron Fist punches Daredevil over. Oh, great. All right, Avengers Compound for turn five. All cards must be played here. So that was what Westview turned into. Going to challenge Korg over there in that Vibranium Mine, Jesse? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, how about that? Oh, there's the kingpin. Yep. Oh, oh and there's Starhawk. Jeez, Louise. <laughs> That's yeah. uh, he gets plus two for every card in your deck, so he's up to an eighteen. Well, now he's down to sixteen, and he boosted Angela. So uh, going you into turn wrote, five. Wonder where you're going to play next. Yeah, I wonder. Yeah, go ahead and what's the score? Uh, okay, it's four to nothing on New York. Eighteen to one, my favorite Avengers compound, where we have to play this turn. And four to two at the Vibranium Mines. I would love to see Vincent D'Onofrio take on Korg. <laughs> Daredevil just hanging out, waiting for Evan to do, lay down something. Yeah, I'm trying to decide what else to put here on Avengers Compound. Yeah, I may as well. I like that, you know, right now I'm one in two locations. Hey, look. Oh, big surprise. You ought to. I'll start. I didn't have him earlier, though. And just your, your phone's slow. I'm sorry, man. Upgrade. <laughs> Star Lord. You know what? You can have it. Oh, not gonna play there, huh? Okay. All right. Yeah, man, that's a, that's a shame. I would have had twenty nine instead of twenty six at Avengers Compound. Mm-hmm. All right, going into the final turn, and we are about to see how this is going to shake down. Anybody gonna be moving to New York? Oh, Wilson. F- oh no. <laughs> yes. Oh, no. Yes. Stop on him. No, oh, that that didn't work out well. <laughs> Yes. Oh, there goes there. everybody. <laughs> uh, what a great play. 
Drax moved coming in cards oh, no. over to New York. Oh, whew. okay. Kingpin worried... stomped them all. Jesse played She-Hulk and one of those vibranium rocks he so badly didn't want. <clears throat> On the vibranium mines, I played Drax, but it wasn't enough. Jesse wins New York 13 to nothing. I went Avengers Compound, an astounding 32 to 1. And Jesse wins the vibranium mines 13 to 8. Oh, uh, Wilson Fisk, the big time savior of this deck. Man, I wish Darkhawk would have went over there and met the boot. He did not, though. You'll, you'll, you'll see Darkhawk again real soon. I do not need to see Darkhawk. All right, so first location, next game, Mirror Dimension. So that is going and to... And I played Korg oh. on the unrevealed second location, which I may or may not know, but I'm not going to tell Jesse if the watch is oh. in my hand because it's the <laughs> super flow. Super flow. That did not work in your favor. It did not. All right. So super flow gives you an extra energy each turn, so long as you don't have a card there. I'm the only one right now that doesn't have a card there. Boy, there's a chance Mirror Dimension could turn into the Super Flow, so I kind of want to avoid... Uh, I want to avoid that right now. And if I can get two energy per turn, an extra two energy per turn, I'm not going to complain. So you played Luke Cage on the third location, which... D do you see what it is now? It is now... Yeah. <laughs> it's Asgard. <laughs> it is Asgard. After turn four, whoever is winning here draws two cards... I'm going all in on the super flow and brood and his broodlings have filled it up. And you've got Spider-Man 2099 next to Luke Cage and Asgard. Hey, it is the super flow. What do you super know? Now you don't have a card there, so you are getting an extra energy. But you're getting uh, plus two. I, well, I, the thing is, is that I'm going to have to, I have to play something there though. At least at one of these. Mm. Um, I mean, that's, that's your choice. I have to. I, I mean, it's just like, it's got to happen and we'll do this. Oh, hey, but you still played Nasgard, and so Gamora goes from a 7 to a 12, although you're still winning with uh, 13 there, and Elektra takes out Korg. I mean, just to be mean, I guess. Korg throwing rocks into my stuff doesn't make me happy. Yeah, you took Korg out. You didn't, take, you didn't lose the rock. Mm -hmm. I know. Uh, okay, so we're heading into turn 5. Uh, what? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. All right, Dr. Beckett. <laughs> Angela and Darkhawk have arrived in Asgard, but you don't have many cards in your deck. We're really not playing with a full deck. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. not falling for it this time. No? What do you mean? What's the problem? I'm I don't not understand. going I, <laughs> over there with Cloak so that Wilson Fisk can stomp I, on I, my I, I, I don't head. understand what the problem is. I really, really don't. Uh, daggone it. Told you. So, Silver Surfer comes out. Here comes Drax. Drax putting the hurting on me. Spider Woman hits him with a big time stinger, but doesn't get enough down. So I win the first location 10 to nothing. Second location, you win 16 to 13. And then Asgard 22 to 7 in your favor with a 12 point Gamora sitting over there. Freaking Guardians of the Galaxy. Jeez. Oh, wouldn't it be great if there were two super flows? I wouldn't play on either of them. <sighs> I think that's what you said. That, Next folks, up. that was me, not Jesse. Just, just <laughs> it was a pretty dead on imitation, but that was me. Uh huh. All right, all right then. Ooh, first location, throne room. Cards here with the highest power have their power doubled. So that's a big location, especially if you got some high power cards stepping in there. It can make the difference. You got Rocket, Rocket Raccoon, Raccoon in the throne room. You've got Iron Vist at the unrevealed second location, which is the sewer system. Mm. Korg at the third location. Oh, hey, Luke Cage and Iron Fist. <laughs> and now Luke Cage is in the throne room with Rocket Raccoon, the battle we've all been waiting for. Yes, indeed. Oh, boy. Our third location ends up being Stark Tower after turn five. Give all cards here plus two power. And Evan right now has Korg and Uatu sitting there. Well, I have nothing. Uh, so, out comes Groot. And out comes Wilson Fisk. Mm-hmm. He's got bad intentions. I'll just let you know that right Half, now. Uh, halfway through, we're tied 4-4 at the throne room. Iron Fist is up 2-0 at the sewer system. And Uatu, Korg, and Groot are facing off against Wilson Fisk in Stark Tower. All right, Drax Ooh. is in the throne How room. How do you know? How did you know? 
I figured even if you didn't play there, the Drax would uh, work out well in the throne room. So I'm up 18-6 with Drax and Rocket there, and you've got Cloak and Luke Cage. Iron Fist is still all alone in the sewer system with a 2 nothing lead, and 1602 Dagger and Pixel Wilson Fisk have six points for you at Stark Tower, and I've got my alien trio with 10 there. All right. I think I played Cloak just a little too early. Yeah. I think. It's my feeling anyway. Seems that way. But maybe you're throwing me off and you've got Arrow in there. Who knows? Arrow? <laughs> yeah. I, I almost, right. I was sitting there thinking, like, should I use... Oh, yeah, she couldn't for the theme. Yeah, I would I would have totally uh, blasted you for that. Okay. Oh, there I'll lose go. my there we go. In the room. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. 28 to 8 there, thanks to Dagger sliding over and Spider-Woman getting the bonus. You're up two to one in the sewer system with Star Lord there and a minus one on his power, but I'm up twenty two to six at Stark Tower. Let's see what happens. Turn six. Here we go. Yeah, let's see. Oh no! What big? Oh no! What is happening? Living I don't tribunal. think I quite have enough. Oh, oh you I do! You do! Unbelievable! The living tribunal enters the throne room and divides my thirty seven points into twelve apiece which is not enough to win the throne room, but is enough to win the sewer system with She-Hulk by Iron Fist side, 12 to 11 and oh Stark Tower, 12 to six. Unbelievable. Star-Lord was about to get overtaken by She-Hulk. And I mean, Living Tribunal comes in here, divides it all up and one point difference in the middle location. That's disgusting. And neither of us has snapped once. No, we have not. Won't be long and it'll be snapping for us. Uh, current score, ah. when you've got eight, I've got six. Yep. Oh, and now we're on our next web. one with the Great Web. Mm. So it should be a little chaos in this one. Yes, it should. All right. That's okay. I got, I got somebody who will, uh, who will work with that. Oh, okay. All right, then. <laughs> Iron Fist from the unrevealed third location to the Great Web because he was the only guy there. Oh, we have the Isle of Silence coming up in the middle here. You All played right. Daredevil on the unrevealed third location? I played Star-Lord on the unrevealed third location. How about you stop? Oh, come on. Yeah, okay, there you go. Great Web yanks Daredevil over now after he got hit from the third location to the second location. And now we have Westview as our third location. Which will turn into a new location next turn. Here's my st street-level buddy. Oh, I was wondering when we were going to see him. Finally showing up here. Brew arrives on the Isle of Silence, drops two broodlings off, and then hops over to the Great Web. And Westview turns into the Daily Bugle. So now mm. I've got a copy of one of Jesse's cards, and Jesse has a copy of one of mine. Okay. Mm, I think I've made an error. No. <laughs> I think I've made an error. Uh... It's not nearly as good as my impression of you. <laughs> I don't like any of this right now. Oh, no, I think Punisher versus Star-Lord would be a good fight. Oh, it would be fun to watch. Oh, Angela and Cloak, stolen from Jesse, are joining really? Star-Lord at the Daily Bugle, as is Luke Cage. And with Star-Lord heading over to the Great Web, we're tied 6-6 the Daily Bugle. I'm leading 4 nothing on the Isle of Silence. And Jesse is up 7-4 on the Great Web. No, that's you. No, I'm you're up 7-4. You're on the up 7-4. You... Somebody's definitely winning at the Great Web. <laughs> It is not me, sir. <laughs> well, I'm curious as to what the next card is that the Great Web is going to yank over. I'm hoping it's the Punisher. Mm. Uh, so I'm Let's watching. See, you've got Daredevil, so. Yeah, I'm kind of watching things here just to see what you're going to do. I know what I wanted to do, but I didn't want Daredevil seeing what I was going to do. Yeah, uh, well, okay. Let's That's seeing. All right, I'm kind of confident. All right, here we go. Korg on the Isle of Silence. Here's your rock. Silver Surfer. Boosting up my brood folks and Angela. Dagger at the Daily Bugle. I'm winning 10-9 there. Cloak's on the Isle of Silence. Oh, and he got yoinked over to the Great Web. Okay. So, but I believe the Isle of Silence is still where everybody can move to. And I wonder who Jesse's going to play there. Mm -hmm. I wonder. Yeah, here we go. All right. This could make, oh boy. Living Tribunal has made their presence known yet again. Come on. Oh, God. You've got to be kidding me. That was, oh, 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 well, that didn't matter. And you could move uh, all over the place. Yeah, Living Tribunal was the answer to the Great Web. Okay, so 12s across the board. Jesse had 17 on the Great Web, where a broodling got yoinked over, but thanks to the Living Tribunal, it doesn't matter. 
And I win Isle of Silence 12-10 and Daily Bugle 12-5. What was I? I was hoping that Dagger would have gone up a lot more than she did. Well, I almost put uh, Living Tribunal on the Isle of Silence, which would have... <laughs> that would have been bad. Yeah. Although right. it would have been even more demoralizing had the Great Web then yoinked him over there. Yes, it would have been. I would have been All upset. right, I stakes round five, so it's up to it's up to this... two cubes automatically. So you, there's there's no running, Starcher. No, there isn't. First location is Vormir. The first card you play here is destroyed, and neither of us played anything anywhere. No, we are not. Second location, Stark Tower. So from space to uh, the streets of New York, anyway. All right. Both played Stark Tower. I played Angela. Jesse played Dagger. I got to watch for these stupid guardians. They're smart guardians, Jesse. <laughs> I am Groot, and I am playing at Stark Tower. Boosting Angela up by two, so it's eight to four after Jesse added Iron Fist to Stark Tower with Dagger. Oh boy, played there's Dark Hawk. Hawk on Necrotia. Jesse played Daredevil on Stark Tower, and Iron Fist knocked him over to Vormir, and Cloak lands on Necrotia. So after the subtractions on Necrotia, I'm up six to two, eight four at Stark Tower. Jesse's two nothing on Vormir, where nobody's actually been played. I really have done some stupid things here. Uh, who hasn't? <laughs> All right. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Let's see if that does anything. Oh, yeah. For what am I doing? You've got Daredevil. I'm trying to be sneaky and it's not working. <laughs> Daredevil has figured things out. OK. Uh, OK. There's Don't play that. anything at Stark Tower. Don't get your extra two points for each card. Mm. I mean, well, Jesse's figuring out what to do since he already knows. I'll go ahead and tell you I played uh I sacrificed Korg at Vormir, which I didn't think I did, but that's what I did. And then, uh, I mean, really, Wait. I do love movie Korg. So, and then I played uh, Drax at Stark Tower. So now Jesse's trying to decide whether he wants to play anybody at Stark Tower and give Drax uh, an extra two points. He decided he did not. Did not want to. Move Dagger over to Necrotia, where she'll get boosted by four power. And then the Punisher shows up. I am not doing so hot here. I only got, uh, so currently Vormir with, I've got it by two, but I haven't played anybody there to get sacrificed. And we're at our last turn. Hey, there's a living tribunal. Uh, no, not again. Ten oh, there's piece. a rock. Oh, he sacrificed the rock. Well played. And She-Hulk, that gives you enough at Vormir. That ain't going to be enough. not anywhere What's else. Ah! So you won Vormir 11 to 10 with the lawyerly and romantic combination of She-Hulk and Daredevil. But at Stark Tower, I won 10 to 4 with Angela and Drax against Iron Fist. But it really doesn't matter because we're all a team. <laughs> and then Darkhawk and Groot actually did leave 10 points at Necrotia. And Jesse managed 7 with Elektra, Dagger, Punisher, and Cloak. I should have hey, never... got Cloak played. and Dagger on the same uh, space, so, you know, good for you. And Daredevil and She-Hulk, so a uh, strong thematic game. Yeah, sure. I should have never played Elektra over there thinking that I was going to get... She she ended up being a negative 1, so it didn't even help me at all. She ended up hurting me, and I was like, oh, yeah, I could come close, uh, but no. What I realized my downfall was was playing Cloak on turn four. Yeah. I need I needed to play him on turn five. And plus I had to have, I should have had uh, Fisk out there. Well, uh, I'd like to say that that turn six trick with Cloak, which you explained to me in detail on a previous episode, would only work once, but I, I'm, I'm not that confident. <laughs> this is three games that I got beat by a living tribunal. I'm really, really, really surprised that you put living tribunal on your deck. He's as, as cosmic as it gets, man. I know. Trust me, he is probably the most cosmic card, right? I think he has to be. But but let me ask you, who else would I have played for a six-point card there? Mm. I mean, maybe Hela, but I, I don't know. I don't think... I know Thor and the Asgardians are in space and stuff, but I just they just don't scream cosmic to me, or I would have put Thor on there. Like the others, I mean, you could make the argument for the Destroyer or Infinite or Death, but those all need other cards that I wasn't using in this deck to make them work. Yeah, yeah, Death. Magneto, I mean, he was in space for a while. Ultron, Ultron's legit cosmic from, uh, you know, there, there's been some stories with Ultron in space. Yeah, I, I just didn't have any complimentary cards for him. Odin and Heimdall, same. I mean, Apocalypse, Battle. maybe. Null, but again, you know, nobody, none of the other cards worked well with Null. So, uh, I mean, Living Tribunal, he was my best option. 
And we had some, you know, pretty bad things to say about when we chose him as a card. <laughs> hey, he I'd say after well. his performance here, he's worth at least 3,000 tokens. Uh, <laughs> which is half of what we each paid for him. Right, right. Oh, congratulations. Uh, I think uh, the record now is you are, th- are you three and one? Uh, yeah, I, th- I think so. Damn. I'm going to have to come around. Stars beat me. But remember, I claimed a thematic victory because Gambit was my downfall and he was long believed to be the X trader. So, <laughs> right. Thanks a lot for joining us. Make sure to tune in tomorrow for the next installment of Snap Material. <laughs> <laughs>